Hey lifers, Bill here with the Jeep Life Podcast. And I'm coming to you live from my garage. And do you see what's behind me? Do you? Big Red, exactly. So, you know, Big Red was in the shop for a little bit. Um, I just had a motor replaced in it. It was not cheap, let me tell you. However, it's running very well now, super strong. But I got some goodies on the ground behind me here and what what do i have here okay so i have a new transmission cross member a new transfer case skid plate as you can see right there and also a new exhaust skid plate which you know i i may have taken big red off the road a couple times and yeah i'm not easy on my stuff so as you can tell so either way big red is getting some much needed love. Um, there's gonna be a couple videos coming out soon. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because you know it helps us out, helps the G-Fly podcast. Um, as you know, it ain't cheap to do this kind of stuff. Actually, it's uh, you know that's why you go to work. So, but either way, this is a lot of fun to make these videos, and it really helps when you hit that like and subscribe. Mainly the subscribe button because you're gonna stay up to date with all of our latest videos also our live feeds every Sunday at 7.30. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so it automatically notifies you when we are going live. But I'm gonna see you in a couple minutes after I get you set up on the tripod and we're gonna start installing a lot of fun here. So stay tuned. Hey guys, just jumping back on here. Um, just to give you a little update of what we're doing, uh, I went ahead and loosened all of the bolts that were kind of attached to the transmission cross member. Um, basically there are three bolts on the transmission that connect to the, the mount itself, which we'll see in a second. And then also I removed all of the, each side has two uh, bolts that go through and in a pinch style from a flange off of the frame, each frame rail. And then also we have the transfer case skid plate, which has two bolts in this transmission cross member as well. So let's uh, get down here and we will see exactly what I did. Um, So what we have here is we had a we have two bolts here on the passenger side of the frame rail. There were one, two, and three studs that go to the transmission mount itself, which is a rubber mount. Right here you can see the rubber mount. Um, sorry, it's a little dark, but that's the rubber mount that, that mounts to the rear of the transmission that allows for the vibration and everything. And then also over here, there are another two uh, cross member bolts that mount to the driver's side frame rail. And then as we can see, there are two bolts to the gas tank skid plate. And then also there was two bolts that went into the transmission cross member or the transfer case skid plate, sorry. Uh, the transmission cross member, as you can see, uh, I have done a bit of damage. Yeah. Uh, let me see there. Oh, yeah. It's a bit wavy, you know. Um, as you can see also on the gas tank skid plate, like I said, I used to wheel Big Red pretty hard. But as you can, uh, yeah, I bought a new toy to off-road with. Um, just trying to save this a little bit more. <laughs> but I have the Pro Eagle Jack holding up the transmission right now. So I'm able to remove this transmission cross member to get the way, make way for the new one. So let's, so let's get at it. I'm gonna set it up right here for you guys so you can watch as I work. All right guys, so as we can see, I'm gonna start removing this transmission cross member, just getting all the ancillary bolts and nuts out of the way. Um, the nuts we will be reusing, so you need to make sure you keep the three that you need. Also, the transmission through bolts, the cross member through bolts, we're going to be using them as well. 
So make sure you hold on to them. Feel like I'm gonna need a uh, pry bar too to get this thing out of here. Um, I know these bolts are coming out fairly easy, but I don't think the rest of it's gonna come out that easy. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe, we'll see. Yeah, I think I'm going to need some uh, hammer leverage. <sighs> Let's see what I can concoct to get this thing out of here. Uh, pretty pleasant. Just use a pry bar. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Halfway home here. So you know there's probably gonna be a lot of dirt in the end of this thing as i just ate a whole bunch of it but i'm just gonna go wash it down with some bear so let's, uh, let's get out from under here and we're gonna compare the stock one to the new one that i'm gonna be putting in and the new one that i am putting in is the jcr heavy duty transmission cross member and uh, the reason why I'm putting it in is because I noticed that there's becoming more and more of a uh, vibration in the drive line. So as you will take a look in a couple minutes, a uh, couple seconds for you guys, but a couple minutes for me, um, we're gonna compare the, the Mopar old one, uh, basically just a factory cr transmission cross member that has been subject to a lot of abuse and uh, a lot of rocks and we're going to compare it to the heavy duty one, uh, just basically on the material that's used, uh, also the bolts that are used, that's something different that JCR did. Uh, the, I definitely know the transmission mount is good because actually it was pretty flexed down. I think that's what was causing all of that vibration in the, in the drive line. Basically when I was sitting at a red light, I would just, it would start rattling, which is uh, not ideal. So we're gonna mount up the new one. Hopefully it all sits in perfectly fine. There's no bent uh, areas or anything like that. And we'll see. So I'll catch you guys in a couple seconds for you, a couple minutes for me. All right guys, so uh, yeah, let's see this comparison. Well. As we can see, first off, there's been a lot of uh, bending in this situation over here. You can tell also this weld line is basically like the only thing that's holding this entire thing together. Um, let's see, if you take your Jeep wheeling heavily off-road, uh, you might want to definitely consider a heavy-duty transmission cross member because, yeah, that's like crumpled so yeah i can say that i subjected this to a lot of rock abuse and it's not meant for it um this is probably let's see uh you know maybe 10 i don't even think maybe an eighth inch steel yeah probably about eighth inch steel um and this is what we're going to be putting in. This is the JCR heavy duty off-road 
um, transmission cross member as you can see I mean you could kind of see in the bolt holes actually not these but the underneath um, that's some thickness right there that's a quarter inch right there uh, quarter inch steel heavily welded all the way around as we can see it's really nice um, so I'm super excited to put this in big red so yeah let's uh, continue this process Yep, this is some heavy duty stuff here. Ooh, it's not the lightest thing in the world, I can say. But there is a reason why they call it heavy duty. All right, let's slide it in this side and get a bolt first. At least one, hopefully. There we go. Slid right into place. All right, we got one in. Next one. Cool. We're getting somewhere, guys. Um, actually, I should. I'm gonna spray some of these with uh. Just some lubricant to make sure they go back together properly. I don't want to spray the other ones as they're on the vehicle. Not so much properly, but you know, easily. Start the nuts on the transmission. Oh, geez. Some assistance on that. By assistance, I mean the socket. And three. All right, so. Hey, lifers, so we're back at it here. What we're going to be doing first is we're going to be tightening the frame bolts that connect the frame into the transmission cross member on each of these flanges. That's gonna allow us to 
uh, shore it up with the frame first and then we're gonna lower the transmission back into place. The transmission bolts are already on. Um, we're just gonna be tightening up this first. So let's uh, get the last nut on the bolt back here and then I'm gonna use the impact gun to snug these down. All right, guys, so after I tightened down each of the side bolts, I went ahead and continued to tighten down the transmission mount onto the transmission cross member using the three factory um, bolts or nuts. So now we're all snugged back up and in. I don't think this uh, transmission cross member is going to go anywhere. So if you'd like, hang on, and I'm going to continue putting the transfer case skid plate back on and the exhaust uh, protection bar, let's call it that. They call it a skid plate, Mopar does, um, but I'm gonna can talk, call it a protection bar because there is no real skid plate underneath. Um, actually, my exhaust is looking pretty decent right now. <laughs> actually, I'm surprised. So, uh, but yeah, I think this is definitely a lot more solid than what was in there and hopefully 
it's going to give me a little bit more um, protection off-road. So this is Jeep Life Podcast. Once again, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps us out. And hang around, and you'll see the rest of this process just putting it all back together. I'm going to put these bolts back in for the skid plate. Uh, I'm going to take this one out uh, so I can get the new skid plate in for the transfer case. And yeah, so hope you enjoy.